Uh, I'm David Singley. I've been here a very long time. Um, I'm going to talk about two things tonight. One of them is exciting. One of them is hopefully a little bit helpful. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is called Vagrant. Um, it's uh, kind of like a, a rake file in that it's written in Ruby, and it's uh, designed to help you set up uh, a virtual machine environment on your laptop to guarantee that the it works on my machine problem uh, goes away. So you can check in virtual machine configuration uh, with your source code. So the first place you're going to want to go to is their website. They have this cute little guy here. Uh, he's a hobo. but uh, So you'd want to download that. Uh, then they have a, a getting started guide here. Uh, key ingredient here is VirtualBox. They're working on supporting um, VMware Fusion on the Mac. Uh, VirtualBox will work on both the Mac and Windows. Um, so essentially what it does is uh, you download a, um, a what they call a box, which is essentially a um, disk image of a configured uh, environment, typically Linux, uh, that has enough Vagrant-like configuration in it so that when you turn it on, uh, Vagrant can continue to configure it. So uh, the, the, what I'm going to demonstrate is using Puppet to do further configuration of the virtual machine. So this first command here, this vagrant box add lucid32, that's whatever you're going to call it in the future. But you're, somebody on the internet, in this case the vagrant folks themselves, have produced an Ubuntu uh, lucid32 bit box starting point. Um, and if you were starting from scratch, you'd go vagrant init lucid32, and you'd have a 32 bit Ubuntu box ready to go. You type vagrant up, it would tell VirtualBox to um, start up that virtual machine. And then the next step would be Vagrant SSH, and you'd be logged in. Um, so go to VirtualBox, download VirtualBox. Um, but what I wanted to demonstrate today was um, you have no more excuses for not blogging if you can't manage to get the blogging configuration running on your laptop. So um, what you do is you go to GitHub. You come down here, and you uh, follow a little bit of the instructions as written, uh, cloning the repository. But uh, we're going to pretend I've already done that. Uh, can you guys see that all right? So this is, this is a copy of the blog uh, project. And one of the things to note here is um, this vagrant file. And that's the definition of the virtual machine. So if we take a look at that, uh, I've overridden some stuff in the implementation, uh, monkey patching it, but you can ignore that for now. Uh, what this says is I'm going to use the precise 32 box. That's the the simplest, lowest uh, footprint machine we can use. I'm going to call it www when you're inside the machine. And uh, the Vagrant stuff can do all kinds of networking configuration. In this case, we're going to set up port forwarding so that when I talk to my Mac on port 4000, I'm really going to be talking to <coughs> some service running inside the virtual machine on port 4000. Um, because we're doing fancy NFS uh, file sharing between the virtual machine and uh, my Mac, uh, we need to have a real network interface. Um, we're using numbers that don't collide with any near infinity network to set that up. That's what this happy numbers fun is for. Um, <laughs> and then what, what I'm doing, so you can use Git inside the virtual machine, is I'm sharing your uh, .ssh directory from the Mac into the virtual machine so that you can do GitHub uh, pull and commits from inside the virtual machine. And then this last provisioning statement here says um, we're going to use Puppet and we're going to use this Puppet manifest file to do the configuration. So uh, Vagrant is, provides command line interfaces, and we can say Vagrant status. And in this case, you'll see that my machine is powered off. It takes a minute to start up, so I thought we'd save some time by having it uh, already created but not currently running. So when you want to use it, you just go Vagrant up. and. Uh, we're going to save a lot of time here because we don't have to expand the image. Uh, it, this is pat my password on the Mac. That's only for doing the NFS uh, file sharing. You get free uh, VirtualBox file sharing. So the directory that we st we're starting Vagrant in right now, which is my Git checkout, um, that directory is available inside the virtual machine at slash Vagrant. So any change you make inside the VM is reflected on the Mac. And so even if you didn't do anything fancy, that's what you get for free. Uh, I chose to use NFS because there's a slight performance penalty for large numbers of files.
All right, so it's, it's turned it on. It's shared the, my uh, SSH keys. And we just ran through the Puppet configuration. We saved a lot of time because I've done this before. So Vagrant SSH. And there's a well-known SSH key inside all those boxes. So that's why I don't need to do anything to come in here. I've, uh, one of the things that Puppet does is it changes the message of the day. So it gives you instructions to do this. So you go CD Vagrant. And then we'll run the web server. And with any luck, we'll come over here and refresh. And here's the website. So if you wanted to write a blog entry, you'd go in, you know, do whatever else the website documentation says about writing a blog post. And you could come over here and preview it. See it just like it's going to look when it gets published. Uh, I guess I've encouraged uh, uh, Will's using this to do some stuff for the Nick Plus. And uh, I guess I have Brandon using it for uh, testing uh, some of the uh, Hadoop stuff he's doing. So, any questions? Go home.